What's up everyone, welcome to East West Beats. Today I'm going to show you how to make some amazing sounding plate reverbs on your vocal chains. So let's listen to what I have here. I have this Indian track that I'm working on, but again, this trick can be applied to any genre of music, any kind of vocals. Just make sure the vocals are tracked properly and processed properly. So you can hear that big lushy plate sound in the back. Now what I'm using here is I'm using the Waves Arverb plugin with a bit of pre-delay and you can use this particular setting. I'm going to leave this up on the screen so you can just replicate the settings. And uh, also what I'm doing is I know exactly where my vocal is sitting. So on the EQ side, I'm cutting down anything over 5K with a, with a curve and also anything under 200, 250 I'm cutting down. And I know my vocals are sitting right in this pocket so I'm also doing a cut there. So let's listen to it with the EQ and without the EQ and you'll be able to hear the difference uh, that before you actually put the vocal through the EQ, uh, the reverb, you need to you need to cut some frequencies. So you can instantly tell that when I don't have the EQ activated, it really muds up the reverb. But when I do have the EQ activated, it cuts through the reverb a lot more where the vocal is not sitting. And also the vocal has its own place. So both things are separated. And when you actually listen to the reverb in the mix, it sounds amazing. There you go. You guys hear that amazing tale. So if you guys have any more questions, feel free to leave a comment, email me, get in touch with on Facebook, and we can talk more about it. Until then, happy music making.